Howdy folks, this is Checkers back with our second Firewatch Let's Play. We are trying to track down some fireworks. We are at a shale slide, which I believe we could report. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. Yeah, well, I'd go with Widowmaker. Come on, it's really not that bad. It's a 50-foot cliff made of rocks that look like knives. They just look like knives, okay? Plus, there's already a Widowmaker on the backside of Carter Mountain. It would be confusing. Okay. Well, we can examine it. I don't know that I can do anything about it. Oh, I can. Well, I don't know that I have a rope or anything. I sure as shooting wouldn't want to just walk down that. No. Okay, I think we're going to have to check our keybinds. Maybe I, I'm missing something. Climb, use. Compass, flashlight, camera, read held object, keep held object, browse notes. No, I don't see anything. Well. Okay, well, then I guess we're just going to have to see if we can find another way around. Which doesn't look entirely promising. I have a backpack. I'm not sure how I would access my inventory. Notes and documents. Pressing random buttons at the moment. R to toggle jogging. Necessarily feel any faster, but uh, I do have a map. Let's see, we are here. It looks like. Cache 306 is behind us, but maybe down that slide. I'm heading back the way I came from, it looks like. Although I'm not entirely sure. West, yeah? Find rope in NFS cash box 306. Okay. Perhaps then I am going in the right direction. Yes, I am. Outstanding. Okay. Really, quite lovely game. Excellent use of color. Aha! Cache 306. Okay. Mm, how do I... Oh, there we go. Strafe keys. Okay. Let's see if we can. Okay. 
Hey man, Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked hiking in the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave, 1986. Old rope. Okay. We have rope and a granola bar. Let's take that as well. My only chance is to either eat it or hold it. Uh, huh. Well, I guess we can eat it. And we'll copy information from that map onto our map and go ahead and close the cache. Was that anything we needed to report? No. Okay, so we are now heading back to the um, carabiner point and we will try and descend the shale slide. I saw something not sure what I saw. But we will continue along. Hopefully the correct place. Um, okay, so that is my named Widowmaker, not the one that she wanted. Or she told me it was named Widowmaker. Fireworks. I guess that's what it's just telling me is that there are still off in that direction. Okay. Clawed up tree. Hey, there's a tree out here that's been ripped to hell. And? Don't you think that's, you know, like, uh, disconcerting? Henry, there are 500 pound grizzly bears out here. They sharpen their claws on trees. We don't have grizzlies in Colorado. People killed them a long time ago. Well, in the thoroughfare, they hunt people, they kill people, they bury their bodies, and then come back weeks later to eat them because they prefer rotten meat. People just disappear. Don't you think that's disconcerting? No, Henry, that's life. Christ, lady. Okay, well. And thus we learn about the circle of life. And that looks like hemp rope and that would really be unpleasant. Whoa! No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, my hip. Oh. That's gonna leave a mark. And that's why old rope is not what you might want to do. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Widowmaker got the best of me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Okay, and here we are going into the deep dark. I honestly couldn't tell you how long I've been out. We are here. Maybe they're at the lake. So let's keep going. I don't have any sort of lighting or at least nothing that I know of, like a flashlight, anything for post-sunset activities. So all we can do is hope that there is a report meadow. Okay. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. Okay, and we are still moving along the path. Here are some beer cans. Great. 
Oh, there's you know what? Fuck it, I'm not the main. Oh. There doesn't appear to be anything else I can do about it. Clean up. Oh, I can. Well, let's see what happens when I do that. Okay. Well, it may be silly, but we can take time to clean up the beauty of nature, if I can remember. All the keystrokes to do it. Okay. Now that I've eaten a granola bar and several beer cans, we can move on. There is a bit of smoke coming from the fire over there. A few backpacks. Campfire. Stomp out. Uh, it doesn't appear to need that, I guess. Whiskey. Oh, shit. Pick up. Irish. Can inspect it. Ferreter Irish, a tradition of craftsmanship, certified age, and in comprom uncompromising quality. Single malt whiskey distilled, matured, and bottled in Ireland. And we can save that for later, I suppose. Aha! Bundle of fireworks. Beer can. Beer can. Pick up the fireworks. Confiscate E. Beer can. Let's see. Backpacks. They left their packs tied up here. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. I just found where they're hanging out. And two pairs of clothes. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Oh my. Okay. I think we can imagine what they're doing. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Another bra, another pair of panties. Okay. Found them. Found them in the lake, naked. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Enjoy dealing with that. Okay. Full stereo! Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. Oh, this guy's creepy, Chelsea. <laughs> you probably have a tiny dick. Chelsea, it's my boombox. Can we go? L let's just run to the other side of the lake or something. You gotta take it easy with the fireworks, all right? You ought to take it easy at the Sizzler buffet. <laughs> Chelsea? What? He's just some loser out in the woods. I mean, he's grody. Why do guys think it's all right to just stare at girls? You, you asshole! Fight another firework and it won't be your stereo Iraq. Oh, fuck you, psycho! Yeah, fuck you! You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the woods. Let's get out of here. Okay. Well. There's that. Anybody have a feeling I hey, just... Did I go okay? I might have got a little hot. What's a little hot? Some of their personal property took a swim. Ugh. Well, I can't do anything about it now. Nope. Thanks for dealing with them, though. Seriously. No problem. 
Okay. And I probably just entice them to set a fire. But you never know. Okay. And is there anything else out here that we need to concern ourselves with? No. Alrighty. I still feel like maybe I should be able to do something with this. Oh, hey, I can. Does anybody else feel like that was insignificant? convinced I'm doing anything to this fire aside from moving wood about is it still smoking well maybe not okay well back we go Report Meadow, we've already done that. I should probably... I want to go off and explore a bit, but... One, I'm not sure there's anywhere for me to go. What did that say? Hop over. Hey, there is some place to go. And there is a raccoon. Well, we found a raccoon. I could bring the rap raccoon back, you know, sort of as a trade for their boombox. And okay. Still have a, a little feeling that I should get back. I don't know how I'm going to get back to my tower with the rope having probably been broken by my speedy descent. Here is another way down. Boy, old climbing gear. Uh, okay. Don't think we want to try that. Although that may be the only choice left if the rope broke. I don't remember seeing any way up this after I fell. This is of course presuming that I am where I think I am. Which would be yes. I guess we could go back to the lake and then come along the river there. That may be what I should have done, but I did not. Let's try no, we are definitely not getting back up that. Okay, well, I guess I will pay for my mistake. One way or the other. Oh, that's how you jog. Okay. I misunderstood what we meant when we said toggle jog. Sorry about that. Not that I feel we need to rush through everything, but I think I should rush back since it's probably closing in on night. I could always make a couple slingshots, you know, have a means to hunt. Raccoons, apparently. And boom boxes. Okay. 
here we are at the lake. Now there did appear to be a way uh -huh, across here. And here's our river. Is that over there? Looks like there's another cache off that direction. I guess we could go check that out. Maybe maybe a little jog on that though. Is it definitely getting into the nighttime sunset time here? Cache. There we go. Supply cache. Okay, map information. We can copy the map information. Map updated. And there's another note. August 29th, 1986. Ron got some bad news back home, so hopefully they'll let me out of here for a while. Who's to say, though, budgets being what they are. Did you get my note about what went down in Wapiti? Sheriff isn't too pleased with me, but I don't know. I probably overdid it. Wish you would have been there. I guess you must have gotten hung up. Dave. P.S. Amigos is Spanish. And... I can't quite read that. Professionales, maybe? Is Italian? There's an old sweater. Uh, I found a sweatshirt from the University of Eastern Colorado. There's a University of Eastern Colorado? I really don't think there is. Why would somebody make that up? Right, and then put it on a sweatshirt. The world's a weird place. The Fourth Estate by Richard Sturgeon. Whoopsie. Didn't mean to throw your book down there. Okay. Well, I can only seem to drop or examine, so I'll try and put you back in the box. No fireworks for you. All right, well, I know I should be running back, but it really is quite lovely. Isn't that the rock those girls ran behind? I wonder where they ran off to. Probably to burn my tower down. Okay, let's get back to where we were going and hope that there's another hook point, but I don't think that's what we wanted. No, we want to hang a right and try and get back to the river. Listening to the wind and the trees. And here is our river slash creek. And up we go. And up we go. A little dark here. Let's try and move a little more slowly. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Will do. 
Okay, let's... Okay, we're coming up on our turnoff somewhere up here on the right. Although, turnoff may be the wrong thing to call it. Okay, that was not it. That's kind of fortunate. Maybe. Unless it is, of course, and, and in a river, sorry, slash creek, slash that's carved out this much rock, that would be really bad. Okay, let's, should be here, it is above me, perfect, although cache 303 there and cave 452 might lead us back to two forks, so I think, however, we should do our best to get out of this waterway because I've seen flash floods and I know what they can do and this would not be a good place to be. Hello, Mr. Supply Cash. Okay, can we zoom in on that? Danger, bravery, the great outdoors, defend our frontier. And map to Beartooth Point to the cave does look like it goes through, but there's something in there that says fix me. Let's copy that map information and close the supply cache and hope that the cave is not filled with bears or flooding water. And that whatever we need to fix, we can fix. For that matter. Gate to cave 452. Oh, that is really unfortunate. Um, Well, maybe there was a key in that stash box, and I just... Did I even look inside of it? Uh, well... What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. Used to go caving with someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. Okay, well... I guess... There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay. Well, um... I guess we can see if there's some way to trigger the lock with this. Maybe reach through the other side and turn a knob or something. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Oh, sorry, Hank. Okay, well, then I guess we'll put the antler back for a future caching reference. Maybe. Maybe we will and maybe we won't. Let's aim high. There we go. Okay, and... Was there a way to climb up 
these rocks. They look sort of climbable. Okay, and where does this put us? Maybe still on a path to home? Let's find out. Hopefully before the storm hits. Oh wow. There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. Henry, there's there's something I something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's 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 madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. <laughs> okay. Well, I guess that fellow is maybe here. Not sure. Where are we? Wind is sure picking up. Well, I guess this way is as good as any. Or, you know, maybe not. More rocks to climb. Okay. And yet more rocks to climb. Certainly hope I'm climbing to the right place. Map. Checking map. Hey, we are doing okay. Curiosity, maybe for a time without a storm. And up we go once more. Trail closed sign. Oh, no, no, no. Mm. That's really unfortunate. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. Um, it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Okay. believe we have found our tower huzzah and a ah. okay um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom you're a man Henry you can go wherever you want well number one at least and, uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Okay, then. An old baseball. Generator. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hairdryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Cinder block. Typewriter. Somebody trashed my tower. They got back before me. Oh, yeah. Uh, what can I do for you? Well, my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. 
You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell... You should get inside. Fuck me. Okay. Well. Guess that's what happens when you throw somebody's boombox in the, uh... In the lake. Okay, well, we've made it home. So I think this is probably a good spot to stop our second episode of our Firewatch Let's Play. Once again, this has been Checkers. I'd like to remind you that I now have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel main page. If you look in the upper right-hand corner of the video, you will find a small letter I surrounded by a white circle. That will lead to the previous video in the series and the next one once it's been created. I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe a little informative. I'd like to invite you to subscribe and ask you to please take care.